man, I keep kind of delaying these, filming these daily videos. It's 8.44 p.m. right now. Today, I organized a social, a brunch, so that was good. Met some new people. I think made some new friends. We'll see. I think I'm going to see them again, so that's good. We're meant to be in relationship and community with others. Become an initiator of people coming together and things happening. Because the modern world is designed from the ground up to keep you inside. And then I had, we had our mastermind where we have you, you small YouTube creators talking with each other about our wins and struggles for the week. And then with my accountability partner, Niels, for the first time, we tried watching YouTube videos together, educational YouTube videos, and taking notes and kind of talking with him about it afterwards. And that was actually really cool. I didn't know Discord had a feature where you could watch YouTube videos together. So today we watched videos, two videos, on the topic of talking to strangers. And here are the notes that I took. He took took much more detailed notes, but I think these cover the bare bones of it. Talking to strangers, you why should you do it in the first place? Because it gives you energy. It gives you emotional residence, like you feel part of a community. So the number one thing to do is eye contact. The second thing you should do is smile, see how they react. And the third thing you can either point and talk to talk about something that you're both looking at or you could give a compliment like for example their shoes or their energy or some platonic physical appearance and also another tip is that disclosure meets disclosure in that if you open up and share something about yourself they're very likely to open up and share something about themselves as well and in the second video they talked about the most difficult thing about conversation is the transition from opening to getting into something more substantial in terms of not just fluff talk, but something more meaningful in terms of the content. So something they said that Joe Rogan does all the time is reminds me of transition. So for example, Rob Lowe said to Joe Rogan, oh, do you like baseball? And Joe Rogan really does not like baseball. And he said, you know what I don't like the fake fans cheering on that noise. You know what also I don't like? It's the fake noise from the cars. So he immediately brought the topic to something he's more interested in. And Rob Lowe was more interested in that too, in terms of cars and all that. So the topic transitioned from baseball to cars immediately because Joe Rogan said from baseball to, oh, this reminds me of fake noise and cars. So reminds me of transition. Easier said than done. It's obviously takes a lot of practice and it's difficult to come up with things on the spot if you're trying to think of something and you can't. But this reminds me of transition is very important. And the next one they said is why. Why questions. For example, instead of, oh, where do you live? Uh, is it nice there? How do you like it there? It's such boring conversation. But if you ask, why do you live there? They're, they're going to give you some reason as to why they ended up there. Also, why did you choose that? job and if they really don't like that job then you can transition into asking well if you had won the lottery then what would you do instead if you didn't have to do that job so from why questioning to transitioning into hypothetical questioning what if situations joe rogan also pings for his common uh, subjects of interest so for, for example he's really interested in dmt so he'll always say dmt do you know about it have you tried it he always pings his guests for that all the time. So ping for topics of mutual interest. And the last technique I wrote down was mirroring and there are different definitions of mirroring, but in this case, it's repeating the last one to three words that they said so that you're, it shows that you're listening and kind of empathizing with them. For example, if a person says, oh, it's really hard doing what you love. And then Joe Rogan said, yeah, it really is hard. Something really simple like that. So those are the notes that I took from today. I just realized this is video 200. That is a milestone for me. I wonder how far I'll have come after video 300. Anyways. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's try to get more sleep as soon as possible. 1% better every day, baby.